says, who is Saf ibn Sayyad? Saf ibn Sayyad was a young Jewish boy living in Medina. And he was a soothsayer. He had jinn communicating with him. And the Prophet in the beginning, والسلام, was doubtful whether he is the Dajjal or not. And that was before the hadith of Jarir ibn Abdullah al-Bajali, which is in Sahih al-Imam Muslim, where he came and told the Prophet والسلام, about their encounter with the Dajjal in an isolated island where he was chained and he asked him a few questions. So this was all before that. And the Prophet did not have knowledge about the Dajjal. So he had his doubts because it was circulating that this Jew boy predicts few things of the future. So he wanted to make sure. So the Pro Prophet Hassan went with, I think, Umar, and he was trying to listen to some of the things that this guy has. And while he was approaching the place, his mother saw him, so the Prophet Hassan, and she said to her son, the Prophet is here, Muhammad is here. So he took his guard. So the Prophet asked him a few questions, which he could not complete the answer of. And the Prophet recognized and realized, Ali Sosam, that he was a mediator with the jinn. He was worshipping jinn and they were giving him some info. So he let him be. Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, asked the Prophet, shouldn't I chop his head off? The Prophet said, no, no, no. If he's the Dajjal, you won't have authority on him because there's a prophecy. And if he's not, killing him would not do you any good. If I recall correctly, also in Sahih al-Mam Muslim, Abu Sa'id al-Khudri traveled with Saf ibn Sayyad to Mecca for Hajj. And everybody was avoiding him. And among them was Abu Sa'id al-Khudri. And he was, you know, feeling very bad about this guy. Until he approached him one day and said to him, Abu Sa'id, you're knowledgeable. Don't you see how people treat me? They think I'm the Antichrist, the Dajjal. But I live in Medina and I'm heading to Mecca. And the Prophet said, as salam, that the Dajjal cannot enter Mecca or Medina. I'm going for Hajj. The Prophet said that he's one-eyed. I have two eyes. Blah, blah, blah. So in summary, this is who Saf ibn Sayyad was and Allah knows best.